da 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 yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough i'm starting off the part right over here because this is the portal like as you can say to sector 5 and i got to run the through there I like crazy and now i'm going to go up to this particular section of the area because with the old power of the old screw attack, I can get something up a little bit higher from here. Higher, 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 go, go, go. Uh, it's right here, I believe you start, and then you just blow this up. You go into this wall like that, and uh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah, you can sneak in here. <laughs> there is a power bomb tank right here and now that i'm up here i might as well explore this other little area here oh it's a recharge room how convenient now i'm starting over here remember there's a secret room that i said that i missed and i couldn't go back to because i couldn't jump high enough to get out of here well check this out Yep, missile block right there, and this is kind of tricky to get into, but there we go. Now, um, well, this is just, like, you th you'd think that you'd want to power bomb this, but no, 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 if you do that, you're going to get blocked in like that. So you've got to do this semi-blind here, so let's see what I can do about that. Just got to go up, and up, and then there's something. If, oh, there it is. Then we go jump over there, and then jump over that, and then we get... Energy tank! Oh yeah! And now, let us get out of here and go to the next spot that we need to go to. By the way, if you're wondering why this place is flooded, it likely has to do with Nightmare, because he did so such damage to this place that he messed up the, I guess you could say, separation between Sector 4, you know, the water area, and uh, Sector 5, the icy area. So now you got all sorts of annoying critters all over this place. And uh, I want to go over to the right from here. See, uh, why I started over there was because there's a slight new puzzle, I guess you could say, that has to do with making progress to get back to something that you'll be able to collect in this area. So I decided to start this puzzle anew here and uh, go around because there's a lot of broken doors that you can't get through now. So in order to get to the spot that I want to go to, you got to take this route here. And I'm almost there, don't worry, we're, we're gonna get there. We are actually here. <laughs> Uh, right over, where is it, where is it? Is that the power bomb? I think I have the power bomb. Let's see here. Yep, power bomb is correct. Uh, do I need to freeze you guys? I probably don't. No, it doesn't look like it, okay. So that means I can grab this power bomb tank without any opposition whatsoever. Alright, I'm starting over here this time because of a purpose. See, uh, when this place is all broken up, you can now go into a higher room, I should say a room that's up over here that we couldn't go into before, and it's in this room right here. See, if we were to say power bomb here, we'll find that there are, yep, those sorts of blocks here. And without this place crumbled, crumbling into pieces, we wouldn't have this convenient running ramp over here to be able to get over there. So. Um, wait, actually, I gotta get the door open ahead of time here. Alright, uh, get it, get it, get it, there we go, okay. Just gotta make sure the door is open before I, uh, get myself push- or I bash my face into the door. Woohoo! And there we go. <laughs> Power bomb tank! Acquired! And I'm not gonna cut here because I'm pretty close to the spot that I wanna cut to next anyway, so yeah. By the way, uh, these yellow doors, interestingly, they're only found in Sector 5. I assume that's because they made them to contain the Nightmare, presumably, possibly, maybe. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> that's my best guess. Um, now, I forgot, I mean, I, I don't want to say I forgot, but I figured out what I forgot in the other part that I tried to get this missile tank. That's it! <laughs> It's as simple as that. All I had to do is find the hidden opening. <laughs> and now there's this transition point between 5 and 6. And looking at the map, I do believe everything is touched on the map. You know, every square and everything is collected on the map. <laughs> I 
did a fist pump, but you didn't see me. It's it's unfortunate. So very unfortunate. All right, sector six. <laughs> So there's these couple of squares here, and these screw attack blocks lead you back over to here. Yup, this is right over there at the map, rather close to where we started at, actually, when we first came through here. So it, it, it's kind of like that was hidden right under your nose this whole time. <laughs> now over here, um, <clears throat> go down and break, yeah, this block on the wall here. And now we got a sort of kind of puzzle, which isn't really a puzzle if you have a power bomb. Yeah, <laughs> just go like that, hop in there and get the energy tank. Otherwise, you'd have to trial and error that wall until you find the correct path to uh, reach said energy tank. I just realized that I shouldn't have started going the other way because there's still stuff to get on this side. So I'm going to start here. You can break those blocks with the screw attack. And uh, by doing so, you can run all the way over to here. And stop! Shine spark through that wall! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, screw attack, once again. Now, remember you're gonna have to use the shine spark to get back out of here. Now this room, this is an annoying room because you see, if you choose the wrong ones, you will not be able to do your shine spark, I should say your uh, dash through these blocks on the other end because <laughs> those walls up here, yeah and you can't get a good running start through here. So what you gotta do is figure out which sp spots on the ground you're supposed to bomb. And this is really, really annoying on a first playthrough, but I do believe it's that one. There we go, and we go one, two, three away from this edge. So three away from the right edge on the other one, three away from the left edge on this one. And we go here, bomb that, and then bomb this. And that'll make opposite uh, tips of here. And you go right in the center of this one. And then you bomb that. Voila! Okay. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid, but... It, you gotta do it! You gotta do it if you want that 100%. And now, to get out of here... Uh, I'm first gonna open this door right here. On this side, just so I don't get stuck. And remember, you gotta shine spark through that door. So let's get him charged up. Yep! And yeah, clear! Alrighty, I'm starting here this time. Because as you've seen, there's a whole path that I didn't get uh, over by the save point. That's because the first time I came through here, I was running away from all the blue X of doom that was just in my way everywhere. But if you want to go to said save point, you come through here. And this is also a nice way to recharge yourself because there's all those buggers there. And then you just recharge, I mean, you go into the save room, you recharge by killing the buggers again, you know, to get the, the X's to recharge, you stop going to save room, come back out, etc, etc. I probably should have showed that the other time, but as I said, I was in such a panicked hurry that I just was just running through everything. <laughs> Starting here by the other save point, remember I was looking for something at a corner? That's the corner that I missed. <laughs> so... Yeah, you go in here, and if you'd like, you can power bomb everything just to speed things along. And uh, yep, there's a missile tank right over there. Isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, but as you can tell, this isn't really the easiest place to get to with all the blue X roaming around that early in the game. So I don't really mind missing it that much, in all honesty. <laughs> At least missing it that early on. Now I gotta get this, gotta get the couple of squares in this room mapped out. So let's hop around up here, and there we go. Let's head back up. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's a nifty little shortcut, now isn't it? I didn't even know that was there actually. <laughs> Okay, this next one's pretty crazy, so watch closely. So first off, there is this secret wall here, and uh, yeah, if you do this power bomb right here, you're gonna see that you need to, yeah, do that sort of thing there. But, we have an issue to have, yeah, uh, yeah, see there's this little bump, and uh, there's also something to get in the other room, but first we gotta get ourselves past those blocks, right, 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 so... Let's just do this as if we were sort of like doing this for the first time, I guess you could say. And so, 
player what players would do they would do you know this sort of thing they would charge oops, they would charge up I mean they would get to their shine spark going here and then they would stop in place uh, come on I just want to press down to keep the shine spark charge and then we go whoop, then we go spin go to the left then we go straight through like that Yee! go 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 Woo! Then you find. Oh no! We what? What? How do we get said power bomb tank then? Well, this is probably one of the dumbest ones to get in the game, and also one of the most difficult to get back to reset. It, you just got to do that. So, in order to pull this off, you've actually got to sustain a running, um, a running spin attack. I should say a running screw attack shine jump thing yeah, through the whole course there. Yeah, this is positively ridiculous. Ah! <laughs> you also gotta do it through doors, so that's gonna mess with your timing a bit. And there's all these enemies here, just to keep messing with you every time you have to redo this, because why not? <laughs> so here we go, little taps. Ah, man. So you gotta stay sorta of, kinda of close to the ceiling because you won't lose the the shine spark that way then. But the thing about that is you can't get caught on any corners, so to speak. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta open that door. Alright, so here we go. Let's focus very hard on this, because this is like the boss time of all boss times. Ah, poopers. <laughs> It's that transition point between the door that I'm getting uh, stuck at here. Um, because what happens is that there's a delay, as you know, between areas. So I, I, I lose my shining rhythm, I guess you could say, uh, between the doors here. So here we are, ah, poopers. And then there's another door after that to uh, also lose your rhythm on. So, uh, mm. <laughs> It is not... The friendliest of challenges, let me tell you. Okay, let's go like this. And, well, actually, you know what? Maybe it's possible to pull that off in the other room. Well, I'll, I'll show you what I mean here uh, when I go into the other room, because at the very least, I can show you how to get something over there. But I always recall uh, having to do uh, that first one starting from this side, but I could be wrong, because maybe there's some other way to do this. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just get, make sure it's all charged up and... Oop, uh, mm, I hit the wall before I press down. <laughs> Come on now, peek again. And down. Spin. Go through. Break through. And now, okay. Here's the start of it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go over to this side to show you what I mean. Is, uh is I might be able to, yeah, uh, hold my Shine Spark over there and then do it like through the lower portions of the walls, maybe. So I'm gonna do it like that and then I'm gonna go, well, actually that's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> I gotta do it a little bit closer to the edge here. So let's get this charged up. There we go. Oh wait, that's not, yeah, it's too high, whoops. I gotta jump off the edge a little bit before I'm able to pull that off. Uh, this... Oh, whoops! Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> um, should be enough running room there. Yeah. Gotta go like that. Yeah! Oh no! <laughs> so I guess I am supposed to screw attack through that because I hit a wall there. And yeah, I gotta do like a, a thing about thing of a bob through the whole area because otherwise it's a it's a quite an issue to get <laughs> through that but the other one that I can get in here is that one right there and this one's a whole lot easier actually um, see you gotta get yourself to start running at just past that point so I say start out about there and then stop there go like this like that oh made it <laughs> So that's how you get that one there, and to get out of here, you gotta find yeah your way out of there. Now for the other one, I that that one is just so so hard to get. <laughs> it's crazy. Woo! Ah, oh, there's a wall on that side too. 
All right, let's see the puzzle here. Let's see. Oh, you can get it from the other side. Look at, oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, actually, hold on a sec. What if I were to, say, get my... No, that wouldn't work either, because there's no slope for me to retain the uh, shine spark there. Boy, wait, don't, wait. Why? Wait, why did I not go through that one next to the energy tank there before? Why did I hit that as if it was a wall? Did something glitch on me? Well, anyway, I, I now figured out an easier way to do this. Go like this. And... Ah, oh, poopers. Messed it up, but that is an easier way to do it than to try and do it through uh, multiple rooms like I did it before. Oh, really? I was one pixel too low? Got it the new way! So, okay, you break through all those blocks that way. Okay, so I guess the even the power bomb missed some of them, despite its rather large range. I don't know, but I got it. I'm done. Let's go to the next location. Oh, come to think of it, I think the next location is sooner than I thought. Watch this. You go into this room and jump over this, spin attack through these blocks. And now, you can go into this room, which will allow you to do a rather annoying puzzle here. And oof, it's not, well, I shouldn't say it's even a puzzle, it's more like a perfect timing thing. You gotta jump off those breakable blocks at the same time you touch them, so that you can jump up until, up into that little cubby hole to get the power bomb upgrade. Got it? <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to do, let me tell you. Yeah! This Sector 6, it may be one of the easiest places to get around, but especially when you get all your abilities, but when you want to actually 100% this place, it is one of the most annoying in the game. Alright, I got that. Now, remember this place that I didn't go to before? Well, you might not have, because yeah, I never went there before, and that's because... I needed to be able to shoot through walls in order to be able to get that. You remember this place? No entry without authorization? Because he was repeated all day and all night until he went mad? Well, we're going back there. You might be like, what, what, how, why is this still here? Well, it's actually not. The piece that fell off the station is actually, um... Yeah, it's, it's gone, but in its place, there's something up here now. And in order to get up there, we got another sort of little puzzle here. Recognize those blocks? Well, we gotta go right up the center of those things in order to get to what we need to get here. So let's get this set up here. And shine spark charge. Straight up. <laughs> Power bomb take acquired! And now... Now, actually we can't, I can't show you now because I'm no longer in Sector 6 of course, I'm at the main deck, but now Sector 6's map is now 100%ed! Woo! Navigation room, what do you have to say about my 100%ing? Samus, we're done here, leave the rest of the Federation. Well, I see you've got your mind elsewhere. We should be preparing to evacuate the station. Are you joking? Do they know how dangerous the X are? How quickly, quickly they reproduce? The Federation has taken an interest in the X and SAX. They believe this life form has endless potential applications. This is ridiculous! The X are heartless abominations! What potential could they have? It's not necessary that you understand such matters. The Federation is coming now. You should leave. Just, just leave quietly. This is madness! This is Sparta! They won't stand a chance here! The station will devour them. What could be worth the risk? Capturing the SAX, of course. Are you serious? Do they really think they can succeed? It will certainly be difficult. They don't expect your help. They knew you would try to destroy the SAX. That's why they stopped sending you support data. The plasma beam modification was ready some time ago, but they withheld it to keep you from engaging the SAX. Yet somehow you restored that function on your own. They also tried to withhold the fusion missile upgrade because they didn't want you to grow too powerful. But they had already sent it, and you tracked it down. Bravo, Samus. You must cancel this mission! Open a channel to headquarters! I won't let this happen! They are already on their way. Fools. 
As soon as the Federation ships land, the X will overwhelm them and absorb the knowledge and power of their occupants. The X are just waiting for the hunt to begin, and then they'll spread across the universe. Galactic civilization will end. The X hunger for form, knowledge, and power. They mimic these perfectly, but they cannot copy the soul. They're single-minded, instinctively seeking to increase in number. They're a plague, and the Federation underestimates their threat. The X must not leave here. I must destroy them all before the Federation arrives. The, the station has a self-destruct mechanism. I must use it to destroy the X here and on the planet. I must send them to oblivion. Them, the station, and myself if I have to. All right, let's go and uh, uh, let's go and uh, uh, computer. Open the hatch. I have been ordered to confine you until the ships arrive. Don't let them do this. Can't you see what will happen, Adam? Adam? Who is Adam? A friend of mine. And what would this friend advise you to do now? He would know that the only way to end this is to start the self-destruct cycle. He'd know how important it is. Did this Adam care for you? Would he sit in his safe command room and order you to die? He would understand that some must live and some must die. He knew what it meant. He made that sacrifice once. So, he chose life for you. Our fair warrior, Samus Aran. Your Adam gave his life so that you might keep yours. For the sake of the universe. How foolish. How dare you! How could you hope to understand, machine? You know that detonating the station in high orbit would not guarantee the complete extinction of the X-Parasites. Even though the station would be utterly destroyed, you would only succeed in removing the one obstacle to the galaxy's ruin. Yourself. You would ignore this simple fact and choose death. When Adam decided who would live, he chose incorrectly. <sighs> if you were to alter the station's orbit, then you might be able to include the planet in the vaporization field of the self-destruct detonation. <laughs> you would have to start the propulsion sequence now, before the Federation arrives. Woo! Samus, this is your last mission. Go to the operations room and adjust the station's orbit path to intercept SR-388 and return to your ship and escape. Move quickly and stay alive. That's an order. Any objections, lady? New targets up there at the main deck. Let's get moving. We can use this elevator to uh, reach the main deck rather easily. Man, I planned that out well, didn't I? <laughs> well, actually, no, it's kind of it's sector one, but, you know, it's right over... Well, actually, maybe it's further away than I thought it was. Whoops! <laughs> yeah, I really didn't plan that out as well as I thought I did. <laughs> By using that last one for the navigation room from the outer space area of the restricted area. But now that I'm back in Sector 6, I can show you... The complete map! Behold! 100% completion of the area! So with that... I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go change the orbit of the station to crash into ye ol' planet.